with considering all this going on, all this craziness and fear and emotions and so forth, you know, I look at it as a fight. Okay? First of all, the fight has to be mental. Okay? Then the fight is physical. Then the fight is spiritual. Because all these emotions have an energy that attacks. So, you know, considering this virus that's going on, most important of all is not to fear it, not to give in to it. Okay? Because, again, when you start to give in to the emotion that, uh-oh, I might get sick, I might, you know, I might get attached to this, what would I do wrong? You have to be able to get away from that type of thinking. All right? Again, don't let it be your reality. It's only you, it only becomes your reality when you think it is. So to stay healthy, first of all, and mentally, okay, the art of war is about the mental warfare. And then the physical warfare and the spiritual warfare all have energy attached. So mentally, why don't we start mentally, first of all, okay? I'm going to ask a question to everyone out there, okay? And so listen to this very carefully. I'm asking, how many of you fear yourself? And a lot of people will think, fear myself. Well, why would I fear myself, okay? So I'm going to ask you again, how many of you fear yourself? And what I mean by that, how many of you fear eh, of being judged? How many of you fear of not having control? How many of you fear okay, of, of disappointing? I'm sure you have plenty that you can come up with. But this is about you, okay? This is about, about how you feel about you. So in the art of war is mentally, this, this start to gain strength okay, and where you're at mentally. So mentally, first of all, if, if you're the one that's raising your hands, they're saying, hey, who fears yourself? And you're raising your hand. That means you're really looking at yourself. And for the ones that are saying, I'm not sure what you mean, Okay? I'm talking about when you, you're fearing of being judged and you're fear of other, you know, of, of looking bad or disappointing somebody and so forth. That's about you. So let's make this journey about you. All right? And in that, just know your truth. And whatever that is, it is. Because, again, what we are all doing with this virus brought everybody and to everything you hid under your bed in your closet all came up. And the point is, what do we do with it? Okay, so let's find the solution that, you know, it is not about an idea of, okay, I got an idea. Because everybody has ideas. What is the solution? So mentally, in this warfare, first of all, knowing what to do. Hey, if you know, these are just, nothing that is ever bulletproof. What is things that you can do when you get up in the morning and make sure you, you get up and you hold your breath 15 seconds. If you can hold your breath 15 seconds without coughing and feeling discomfort, hey, you can rest assured you're not caught in your lungs there. And like I said, under, uh, is it bulletproof? Nothing's bulletproof. But it's something you can do. At the same time, you know, I don't know how many times I wash my hands, but I wear gloves so that way uh, throughout the day, Hey, I just put, you know, disinfect it on it and make sure you know it, it's clear and at the end I throw away. Okay? At the same time, the fountain of you okay, is, again, endurance. You need endurance to go the distance. Quick recovery is, uh, is using breath. Okay, Breath medicine means learning how to breathe properly so you can recover quickly so you can repeat it. And third, you need the flexibility to have the freedom. So if you were with me last week, I talked about this. Nice. Okay, so there was just a fast review of them. So first of all, okay, we want to go with endurance. So we need some cardio. How do we get cardio? So the cardio, first of all, staying in one place, being you know in your home, okay, not being able to go out into a gym or uh, outside into yards and so forth. If you're in your home, these are some of the things you can do. Most of all, okay, we start with a little cardio. Now, some of you, okay, just be, be real 
careful, be safe. If you have any injuries, be smart. Okay? And if you, by any chance, if, you, if there's certain things that I do and you can't do them, don't do them. Just back away. Or if you're having hard time breathing and your condition, back away and then we're ready to come right back into it. So to be smart means, okay, do only what you can do at the time. All right, so for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off. I, I talked about working the Achilles. And working the Achilles, okay, so that way when you're jumping around, hey, you definitely don't want to pop your Achilles and tendons because it's so painful. So what you want to do is find the wall, okay, and what you want to do is to come to a wall, and all you want to do is actually get your toes and your heel up against it and come forward. Okay, so if, if you can see, let me move this chair out of the way. If you can see in the angle, and put your heel as close as possible to the wall and work up. So you feel the stretch right behind the kneecap. So you're stretching the Achilles. Just 15 seconds would be good, 20 seconds, and then let go and then just swivel. And you swivel so the hip unlocks. And then you do the, you do the same thing with your right, okay? And you go the opposite way and change your foot. Come forward. And swivel. So now why are you doing that? Okay? Why are you doing that and you are actually got your Achilles tendons warmed up and you got stretching it? So what we're going to do, remember, hey, be smart, be safe. Be, you got bad knees, just bounce light. Hey, just bounce light. Get your body real nice and loose. Hey, just bounce. For the ones, hey, it doesn't have bad knees in your head. Hey, hey, just jump up and down. Now, once you have that point, Hey, if you know how to jump them, put you get a left leg, put you get a right leg. That's it. Put you get a left leg, put you get a right leg. Just like you jump over me. Okay? And for the ones that can, just bounce your body up and down. Just bounce your body up and down. Get that heart rate going. Hey, put you get a left leg, put you get a right leg. Now, for the ones that already have a lot of experience, use your shoulders. Come on. Bounce your shoulders. Get that shoulder real nice and loose. Put you get a left leg, put you get a right leg. That's it. Get that cardio going. Okay, other side you're gonna stop. Raise your knees up, raise your knees up, raise your knees up, raise your knees up. That's it. That's four. Come on. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. Okay. So right now just get a little cardio going, getting that blood circulating. Alright, so now if you can, I want you to go and grab a chair. If you already haven't got one, go get a chair and I want you to bring it. Hey, just to the side, just that there, you can watch the chair. Okay, now that we have a chair, what I want you to do is, well, the ones that can, remember, hey, depending on what kind of injuries you have, be strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hand up on the chair and go into a push position. And all we're going to do hey, is we're just going to bend the elbows and get a little pumped. Actually, put some blood into the shoulders into the biceps and triceps. For the ones that are really good, go a little lower. You ready? Now, what I want you to do is lock your arms and work your pelvic forward. Look up at the ceiling, stretch that lower lumbar. As you get it good and breathe out. And then just try it again, a little pump. And just work your rear straight back and put your heels to the ground, ass in, and get a good stretch. And right on those hamstrings and, and glue them. That's it. Okay, now, going to push position, what we want to do is we're going to bring our left knee to our chest and put it down, our right knee to our chest and put it down. Ready? Left, right, and give me a halfway push up. That's it. Left, right, that's two. And left, and right, that's three. And left, and right, that's four. And left, and right, that's five. And left and right, and six and left and right, and seven and left and right, that's eight. For the ones that can really go down, go all the way to the chair. And ten. That's good. Okay. Now that you have that, that move your shoulders a little bit. Okay. Get a little rotation going. Now, once you have the rotation going, hey, we're looking good with that. Now, 
From there, hey, now that we got the shoulders a little poked up, this work on the core. So what I want you to do is sit on a chair. And once you sit on a chair, what I want you to do is lean back, grab, and then put your legs straight out. And we need to work that core a little bit out a little bit. And all we're going to do is do a fish tail. Come on. One. That's two. Then three. That's four. Then five. That's six. Then seven. That's eight. And nine. Then ten. Okay. Touch your toes to the ground and bring your knees up and right back down. Ready? And one. That's two. Then three. That's four. Then five. That's six. Then seven. That's eight. And nine. Then ten. Good job. That's the first set. Let's try it again. Ready? Lock those legs. Second set. And one. And two. Fish tail. And three. Come on. And four. That's five. Push. And six. That's seven. And eight. And nine. That's ten. Okay. Touch your toes. Bring your knees to your chest. And one. That's two. And three. That's four. And five. That's six. And seven. That's eight. And nine. And ten. For the ones that are really looking for a challenge, give me a third set. Come on. One. That's two. And three. That's four. And five. That's six. And seven. That's eight. And nine. And ten. Touch your toes, ready. Bring your knees to your chest. And one. That's two. And three. That's four. And five. That's six. And seven. That's eight. And nine. That's ten. Good job. All right. Now, we got a little blood and a cord there. Okay. Now, the next thing to do is just get a little stretch going. Okay. So, we're going to bring our left leg up on the chair. Okay. So, we're facing your chair. But I want you to lean back and pop the leg. Come on. Get some blood into that leg. That's it. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Okay, and work your head down. That's it. Give that good for at least 15 seconds and then back up. And what I want you to do is bring, okay, chamber your knee to your chest. Touch the end of it. Okay, now what? I don't want you to let go of the chair and I want you to lock your leg. If you can, lock the leg. That's it. And back down. Good job. One more time, lock it. And back down. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock our leg, point our toes up, and we're gonna, uh, just like a windshield wiper. So working on locking the hip, working your toes from left to right, just like a windshield wiper. There we go. Okay, once you have that, turn your body. Okay, so if I said just use a clock system, which is, I'm facing you, which is 12 o'clock. And then to my right, okay, 90 degree, which is 3 o'clock. Behind me is 6 o'clock. To the left is 9 o'clock. So the major direction, say it with me, 12, 3, 6, and 9. So if that's the case, I'm looking at you at 12 o'clock. And my body, okay, is sideways. All right? So what I want you to do, put your hands over your head and stretch. That's it, looking the hips. And your weeks. That's it. Get a good stretch. And back up. Good job. Now from right there, take a deep breath. And you're going to go straight down and grab onto your right ankle. Okay. And once you grab, you're going to pop the leg. And come back. Up. Good job. Now from right there, we're going to jump right into a roundhouse kick. So a roundhouse kick means we're going to put our knee and our ankle. Okay, up on the chair. Okay, and all we're going to do is bend. And this is a groin stretch. The obliques and hip flexors all in one shot. That's it. Give it a good stretch. And back up. Okay, now we're going to get up and turn to face the chair and put our knee and our ankle in a horizontal position if you can. So you can grab the chair and work down. And this is working your glutes. That's it. Get a good stretch there. And there's a back up. And just turn around. And now we're going to work the quadricep. And we're going to sit on the heel. And back up, flip it out. And circle. All right. We're going to get it with another leg. So, let's try another leg. We're not as moving faster. 
Put the leg there, come on, pop it. Now that we all understand what we're doing, pop that leg, work your chest out. Come back up. Put your heel, okay, your step right to the end of it, and chamber your knee to your chest. Okay, don't let go of the chair as you lock it. And bend it. And let's turn your body sideways. Oh, matter of fact, let's lock and then work your hip. It's like a windshield wiper, working your toes from left to right. That's it. Turn your body sideways, hands on your head, and reach. And all the way around, grab onto your left ankle and pop your leg. And come up, bend the left leg down, come up, jump right into a roundhouse kick, and bend down. So put your knee in your ankle, so we're repeating the same thing. And back up, let's turn it the opposite way, put your knee and your ankle upon it. And back up. And turn around, sit on your heel, and bring it up and down. Okay, now we have a good stretch going, okay? So you can do this daily. What we're going to do is move the chair out of the way. And so, because of that, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this mat facing Hey, the camera's there, which is 12 o'clock. All right, so now that I'm facing you, which is 12 o'clock, remember, your opponent is almost 12 o'clock, so you facing me, I'm 12 o'clock to you. So with your left leg, I want you to step forward like a regular walk, step and stop. Now that I'm facing 12 o'clock, my both feet on the balls, I'm going to turn to 1 o'clock. So my feet are facing 1 o'clock. My shoulder is 11. If this is 12, that's 11 o'clock right there. Right hand touching the jaw, left hand up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a fast review. Okay, so when I say bob left, you're going to 11 o'clock. Your head will go 11 o'clock, 6 inches. As my head goes 6 inches, my shoulder, my hip, and my heel, which is my right shoulder, my right hip, and my right heel, is going to go forward as my head goes to 11 o'clock, 6 inches, and right back. Ready? Let's try that 8 times. Bob left. That's 1, 2, two. that's 3, and 4. That's five, that's six, and seven, and eight. All right, now our head is going to go to one o'clock. That means my left shoulder, my left hip, my left heel is going to go forward and back. Ready? So I'm going forward like a V. Ready? And bob right. One, that's two, and three, that's four, and five, that's six, and seven, and eight. Okay, now we're going to, we have a V shape. So when I say one, you're going to go left to right. Ready? Bob left, go forward and back, go right, forward and back. That's two, forward and back. That's three, and left and right. That's four, and left and right. That's five, and left and right. That's six, and left, right. That's seven, and left, right. That's eight. Okay, now we have the bobbing. Let's go to a weave. A weave is like a U. As your legs bend six inches down, you're kind of collapsing. As you come up, you're going to draw a U, so you're going to go from right to left. When I say weave, you're going to go back from left, back to right again. So you're giving me kind of a U-shape. So as I go to the left, my right shoulder, my right hip, right heel. Weave, straight up, straight down. Weave, straight up, straight down is my left. Weave, weave, that's two. Weave, weave, that's three. Weave, weave, that's four. Weave, weave, that's five. Weave, weave, that's six. Weave, weave, that's seven. Weave, weave, that's eight. Okay. Now, this, just go from the beginning. Remember the bobbing is to the left. Bob left, bob right. Weave straight down, weave straight down. Okay, when I say fin forward, your head goes forward and back. So it goes forward and back, ready? So six inches, fin forward and back, ready? Let's try for eight. Fin forward, that's two and three, that's four and five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight. Okay, let's fin back. So we're going back to six o'clock, six inches, ready? Fing back, that's one, that's two, and three, that's four, and five, that's six, and seven, that's eight. 
So we will paint forward, we paint back, now we paint down. Our lace collapse only goes six inches, straight down, straight out. Ready? Paint down, that's one, that's two, and three, that's four, and five, that's six, and seven, that's eight. Okay, now let's start from the beginning. Bobbing to the left, bobbing to the right, and then weaving. Bob left, bob right, and weave, and weave. Paint forward, paint back, Fame down, good job. Hey, when I say pair with your right hand, go from the right side of your face to the left side of your face into a 45 degree angle, six inches only, ready, pair it. Hey, ready, pair it. Let's try that, one, that's two, and three, that's four, and five, that's six, and seven, that's eight. All right, for the beginning, let's try it, ready? Bob left, bob right, and weave, and weave. Fame forward, fame back, fame down, and parry. Hey, this is your last block. Body block left means block the left side of your body with your left elbow and put your face into your glove or your fist. Body block left. That's two. And three. That's four. And five. That's six. And seven. That's eight. Now, body block right. Hey, I'm going to pivot my right shoulder, which is called hammering. I'm going to right shoulder is going to come forward. I'm going to pivot on the ball of my right foot and my right hip is coming forward all at one time. As my right, as my right shoulder comes forward, my right hand is forward. And back, ready? And body block right, body block right, body block right. That's three and four. That's five and six. That's seven and eight. Good job. From the beginning, ready? Hey, just find the rhythm. Bob left, bob right, and we. And we paint forward, paint back, paint down, and parry. Body block left, body block right. Okay, now those are your upper body defense. Now let's work on striking. All right, so when I say jab, jab is your left hand. Now the jab is to go straight. Now as it goes straight, notice my elbow did not flip out. Otherwise, I'm going to hit with two knuckles. So my elbow stays in as I go straight. At the end, it's called carving. Okay? So as I jab, so stay there. Now watch my elbow. It's only 80 to 90% out. I didn't lock it completely, so that way you don't hurt your elbow. Okay, so don't fully extend it. Ready? Jab, 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 jab. Okay, this time as you jab with your left leg, I want you to step six inches forward as you jab and then come right back. Step forward to 12 o'clock as you jab and right back. So your hand and your legs are working together as one. As you step, you jab and you come right back. Let's try that. And one, that's two, and three, that's four, and five, that's six, and seven, that's eight. All right, now just use the right hand. Right cross, my right shoulder, my right hip, my right heel is going to go forward. So I'm using my shoulder first as I extend my hand. At the end of it, I'm going to carve. Okay? At the end of it, I'm going to carve. So watch what it looks like sideways. As I hammer my shoulder first, I pivot on the ball of my right. My hand extends. As my left hand goes forward, my right hand draws back. So if my right hand is in front of my opponent, my left hand is protecting my face and back. Okay? So they're working together as one. Ready? So let's try that. Right cross and back. Right cross and back. Twist the body and back. That's four and back. That's five, back. That's six, back. That's seven, back. That's eight. Okay, there's your right cross. Now your left hook. Okay, this will be your last striking. So when you shoot a left hook, my left shoulder, my left hip, and my left heel, all I'm going to do is flip my elbow up as I turn. Okay, it's going to be horizontal. My wrist and my elbow. Okay, horizontal is just going to turn and I'm going to stop right in front. Okay, so as my sh left shoulder, my left hip, my left heel is going to turn, I'm going to pick up my left elbow and hit my opponent sideways, called a left hook. Let's try that. One, that's two, and three, that's four, and five, that's six, and seven, that's eight. Good job. Now let's try hey, putting it together, okay, in a combination. So when I say one, step forward, you jab. When I say right cross, you shoot the right hand. When I say left hook, get up on the ball of the left, and then you come right back. So you step in, jab, pivot on the ball of the right, right cross, pivot on the ball of the left, left hook, 
and then step back. So let's try that. One, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. That's two, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. And three, and jab, right cross, left hook, and back. That's four, and jab, right cross, left hook, and back. And five, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Six, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Seven, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Eight, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Okay. Now you got a little cardio going, and that's the beautiful part about working, okay, this type of movement, because you're using every part of your body. You're using your core, you're using your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, calves, and so forth. They're working them all together. So to do it, now that we have it, let's try it a little bit faster, okay? Let's get that cardio going. Ready? Jab, and jab, and jab, and jab. Here we go, right cross, jab, right cross, and back, jab, right cross. In back, jab right cross, in back, jab right cross, in back. Okay, now let's try jab right cross the hook. Jab right cross the hook, in back. Jab right cross the hook, in back. Again, jab right cross the hook, in back. Jab right cross the hook, in back. Three more. Jab right cross the hook, in back. Jab right cross the hook, in back. Jab right cross the hook, in back. Now, okay, now that you have that going, all the bobbing and weaving that we did, let's see where it works. Okay, so bob left is 11 o'clock, which you're going this way, right? So let's try it, bob left, and we're gonna shoot a left hook to the head, okay? Bob left, left hook to the head, okay? So as you bob, that's the defense move. As you strike, your offense move, okay? So bob left, left hook to the head. Again, bob left, left hook to the head. Now let's try a little faster. Work on the count, ready? And one, bob left, the hook to the back. Right? Two, bob left, the hook to the head. Three, bob left, the hook to the head, and you always come back to where you start. Okay, bob left, four, and back. And five, and back. Six, and back. Seven, and back. And eight, and back. That's good, all right. You're doing good so far. Okay, now this bob right. Remember, so as you bob right, you have shoulder comes forward. As you bob right, stop. With your right hand, you're going to shoot a right cross, okay, right to the face. So what you're going to do, so the target is uh, face area. As you bob to the right, you get your head out of the way, which is going 1 o'clock. As you turn, you're going to shoot it to 12 o'clock, which is your opponent. Ready? Bob right, right cross. Bob right, right cross. Bob right, right cross. Okay, one more time. Bob right, right cross. Fast review. Bob left, left hook. Bob right, right cross. Okay, now what I want you to practice is the weave. Okay, so the weave is straight down, straight up, and we're going to left hook. Weave and left hook. So my whole body is staying to the right until I come up, my body turns, and then I come right back again. So I'm using my whole core. Okay, ready? And... Here we go, bob right, weave, left hook, okay, bob right, weave, left hook, bob right, weave, left hook, ready, that's three, bob right and weave, four, bob right and weave, five, bob right and weave, six, bob right and weave, seven, bob right and weave, eight, bob right and weave, all right, so we have a bobbing right and weaving, now this bob left, Okay, so you go to the left side, which is bob left, and then you're weaving from left to right. Bob left, weave, straight down, straight up. Okay, this time we're going to shoot a right cross. Ready? Bob left, weave, right cross. Bob left, weave, right cross. Bob left, weave, right cross. All right, now we have it. Okay, here we go. Bob left, left hook. Bob right, overhand right. Weave left hook, weave right cross. Okay, now we're going to faint. As we faint forward, remember the faint forward is six inches forward and back. So we're going to faint forward, and then from there we're going to extend the jab. Faint forward, jab. Okay, that's right. Faint forward, jab. Faint forward, jab. All right, this time we're going to say faint back. As you come back, you're going to shoot a right cross. Faint back, 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 right cross. Okay, now we're going to faint down. 
As we faint down, we're going to jab. At the same time, as we collapse our legs, we're going to jab right to the body and right back up. Ready? Just try that. Faint down, jab. Faint down, jab. Faint down, jab. Faint down, jab. All right. Now, we're going to work on a parry. Remember, the parry goes from right to left. There's your parry, from right to left. As we parry, we're going to jab. Parry, jab. Parry, jab. Parry, jab. Parry, jab. Okay? Or we can either parry and right cross, using the same hand twice. Parry, right cross. Parry, right cross. Parry, right cross. Parry, right cross. Or we can parry, left hook. Parry, left hook. Parry, left hook. All right, so now, they kind of put it all together, okay? And just have fun with it. Most of all, get out of your way. Don't get into your head trying to figure it out. Doesn't matter, okay? The idea of most people say, I keep making mistakes. It's not a mistake, you're teaching your body what you want it to do. So have fun with it, all right? So let's try that. Ready? And bob left, bob right. Weave, weave, faint forward, faint back, faint down, and parry. Body block left, body block right. Okay, that's all your defense. Let's try the offense. Jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Hey, okay, again, jab, right cross, left hook, and back. Now that you have this, uh, the defense and the offense putting it together, hey, okay, Put it together, it looks like this. Bob left, left hook. Bob right, right cross. Okay, we, left hook. We, right cross. Faint forward, jab. Faint back, right cross. Faint down, jab. And you can parry, jab. Parry, right cross. Parry, left hook. Now, don't get into your head where I'm going too fast or you're getting all confused. This is about having fun, okay? So it doesn't matter if you get it or not. We're just having fun with it, okay? Body block left, protect your body, bury your face into your fist, and right cross. Just try that. Body block left, right cross. Again, body block left, right cross. Again, body block left, right cross. Again, body block left, right cross. Okay, now, body block right, left hook. Again, body block right, left hook. Again, body block right, left hook. One more time. Body block right, left hook. Okay, now we're looking good. Now let's put it all together like in a little cardio motion. Okay, so we're gonna bob left again. So as we bob left, going to 11 o'clock, right shoulder comes forward as I shoot at the left hook. Bob right, my head goes to one o'clock as my left shoulder comes forward, right cross. As I weave, I go straight down, straight up, and I shoot a left hook. As I weave from left to right, I come back and shoot a right cross. Okay, so as I faint forward, I'm going to jab. I faint back, I'm going to shoot a right cross. I'm going to faint down, jab. Next thing is a parry. I'm going to parry, jab. I'm going to parry, right cross. I'm going to parry, left hook. Last move is body block left, right cross. Body block right, left hook. And there you go. Now, with that, I can change it any way I want. I can go almost to 127 different moves just from that. So. Let's try to get in with a cardio, okay? Have fun. Every time, remember, hey, if, you're, if you think you're going to make a mistake, laugh. Okay? If you're not laughing, don't do it. you got to laugh, okay? So remember, it's not a mistake. You're teaching your body what you want it to do. It doesn't understand yet. All right? So this is the beginning of your foundation. Have fun with it. All right, here we go. Ready? Bob left, left hook. Bob right, overhand right. Fame forward, and weave left hook. We right cross. Faint forward, jab. Faint back, right cross. Faint down, jab. Parry, jab. Parry, right cross. Parry, left hook. Body block, left, right cross. Body block, right, left hook. Okay, now that's it. Now, let's get into a rhythm of it. Ready? Bob left, left hook. Bob right, overhand right. Faint forward, a weave left hook, weave right cross, faint forward jab, faint back right cross, faint down jab, parry jab, parry right cross, 
Perry left hook. Body block left right cross. Body block right left hook. Okay. Now let's try it again. Ready? A little faster. Have more fun. More smiles. Here we go. Ready? Bob left, left hook. Bob right over hand right. Weave left hook. Weave right cross. Fame forward jab. Fame back right cross. Fame down jab. Parry jab. Parry right cross. Parry left hook. Body block left, right cross. Body block right, left hook. Give yourself a hand. Good job out there. You know the good part about it is you're having fun. Hey, don't get frustrated. Don't get in your head with it. Get out of your way. This is all about having fun, okay? So to do that, okay, when you do that, we can actually make it faster and quicker. So for the ones up to the challenge, follow me. Follow the jet. Here we go. Ready? Bob left, left took. Bob right over hand right. We left took. Weave right cross. Fame forward jab. Fame back right cross. Fame down jab. Parry jab. Parry right cross. Parry left hook. Body block left right cross. Body block right left hook. One more time, come on. Bob left left hook. Bob right over hand right. Weave left hook. Weave right cross. Fame forward jab. Fame back right cross. Fame down jab. Parry jab. Parry right cross. Parry left hook. Body block left right cross. Body block right left hook. Oh man, you're doing good out there. You know what? I can feel your rhythm of movement. See, everybody has rhythm. Everybody tells me, I have no rhythm. Everybody has rhythm. You just gotta break it out of you. Hey, and that's what this is about. It's about getting out of your way and bringing up all that you hide under your bed and your claws, bring it up so you have a chance to heal it. The good, bad, and ugly shows itself that you may do something with it, hey? Because it has something to offer, has something to teach about you, hey? Because again, this is about you, hey? So make sure it's about you. Say, well, I don't want to feel like I'm all full of myself. And you should, because it is about you, the journey. It's like a roller coaster ride, up and down. It is about you, it's about understanding. Okay? What are you doing on your journey? Okay? What's my purpose? What am I doing? Well, the journey, if you're open for it, it teaches you about you. It teaches you to understand what you're about. Okay? Sometimes we come in, what we call the cocoons, they, they come in with uh, wounds and, and that we need to transform it into the light. That means hey, we need to heal those. Eh, and healing them eh, means it no longer stops us. All right. So mentally, eh, the workout is having a knowing. And only the way to have a knowing is to have the experience. And the only way to have the experience eh, is, first of all, have the courage to do it, not try it. See, when you try something, to me, that's an excuse for failure. Oh, at least I tried it. Hey, you know, but the hey, I tried, but. It just didn't happen. You know what? Don't try it. Be in the do business. Hey, this do. So when you get up in the morning, just get up. Hey, you want to get up. Hey, and just hold your breath. Hey, actually, I held my breath for almost three minutes. <laughs> Not that I was actually needing to hold my breath for that long, but I just wanted to see how long I can hold my breath. And so all you need to hold it is for at least past uh, 15 seconds. Hey, and then after that, mentally, you start triggering the chemicals in your body and you start to feel great. And just remember, the journey is about you. All this is about you. Okay? So, I'm talking to you as I was talking to a private lesson because this is a private lesson with the jet. All right? I'm talking to you. Okay? And I'm not talking to your head. Okay? I'm talking to the voice of your soul. You're knowing. Okay? And some people call it intuition. Some people call it uh, deja vu, uh, so forth, to me, that's annoying. Talking to the voice that so always has annoying. So again, if you're one that has all kinds of voices in your head, eh, listen to only one voice. Eh, because again, I'll give you an example. You can go into a mall, and you're feeling great. You want to go shopping, and then you go in there, and then you know what? 
you're hearing all these different vibrations. You're like an open channel, okay, like a radio station, picking up all these different channels of people's thoughts, good, bad, and ugly. And next thing you know, you're thinking, why am I feeling like this? Why do I feel angry? Why do I feel frustrated? Why do I feel anxious? The point, the question is, is that your character to think that? And if you say no, then what makes you think it was yours? Or it's in my head. I said, well, what makes you think it was yours? Just because it's in your head doesn't mean it's necessarily yours. Hey, okay? what happens is when you're picking up frequencies and vibrations of other people's thoughts, good, bad, and ugly, when you're picking that up, always know it's not my character to think that. I don't feel that way. In other words, it's not my reality. Don't let it be your reality because your reality a, has a truth, has a knowing where you're going. Your belief system is so important and what you believe, the I am concept of what you tell yourself. So make sure you tell yourself. Okay? And positive thinking is not what I'm talking about. I'm good, I'm fine, I'm great, I'm this. Hey, that's exhausting. I'm talking about a knowing of experience. Knowing that everything is going to be all right. Knowing that when you get up in the morning and you're so blessed, to be with people you love being with, to do the things you love doing. You're so blessed. Be with that. Wake up with that kind of energy. Walk with that kind of energy. And that way, hey, when you ask for sight, hey, when you ask for sight, that I may see my gifts come my way. So when you're feeling so good and you can see, always, it always comes in front of you. But if you can't see it, you can't receive it. So you have to see your gifts come your way. Hey, sometimes you can say, man, I'm so ready for my gifts. I'm so ready for this and that. You're waiting, you're waiting. When is it going to come? When is it going to come? I said, what, what are you looking for? What are you waiting for? Well, I'm waiting for this to come by. I said, oh, you know that person that you were talking to? That's what they do. What person? Where? Right in front of you. You didn't even see it. Why? Because you were blind. You couldn't even see your gifts right in front of you. Hey, so when you're getting up, feeling so blessed, so thankful, ask for sight that you may see your gifts come your way, that you may receive them, all right? And most of all, make sure your words are impeccable. Make sure your words are healing and not damaging because words sometimes are very powerful and sometimes they can become very critical in your words. So make sure words. If you've got nothing good to say, don't say it. <laughs> I know it's hard, you know, almost sometimes I want to say something, I bite my tongue until it bleeds. Hey, not saying something, but it's only because I want to say it because I want to be heard. I want them to know I, I want to have the last say, so I want to make sure, you know, get out of your way. Get out of that already. Bite your tongue. Hey, even if you have to let it bleed, so be it. Have the discipline. If you've got nothing good to say, don't say it. Hey, don't say it because, again, not worth it. Hey. So within that moment, just remember everything. Get up. Okay, I'm concept of, I'm so grateful and thankful okay, that I got this day to do things I love doing, be with people I love being with. Second of all, give me sight that they might see my gifts that I may receive them. Third, let my words be healing and not damaging. Okay, keep my intentions pure and clean. Hey, how can you go wrong with that? Make that a nice formula. Okay, we'll take that, stir it up well, digest it well. Food for thought, that's what you got. Hey, I just gave you a smorgasbord in a short amount of time. <laughs> Pick what you need, let go what you don't. The beautiful part about it, have a beautiful day. Hey, hopefully I will be seeing you soon. I will see you when I see you.